Alrighty, and welcome to this introduction to negative keyword lists. What is a negative keyword list? Let's say you sell hydration packs, and you know that every single campaign that you run, whether from here to the end of eternity for your hydration packs, are going to have negative keywords in common. For example, let's say you do not ever want to appear for hydration powders, Australia because you do not ship there, cheap because you are not a cheap hydration pack, and water filter because your hydration packs don't have one. So let's say you knew that you would never wanted to appear for these four terms. You have two options. The first is every time you launch a campaign, you manually add them. And we're going to show you how to do this in AdWords Editor for speed. But the point is that every single campaign that you create, you need to be sure to add them every single time. The other option is to use lists, or as it's known, negative keyword lists. A negative keyword list is a list of keywords that you want to add as negatives to multiple campaigns. And the question is, how actually useful are they? So what I will say is that if you do want maximum control over every single negative keyword in every single campaign, it's not going to be that useful. I know that me personally, I do like to put every single campaign underneath a microscope and be sure that I'm controlling everything I can possibly control. So personally, I don't find them that useful. However, for the overall majority of people, if you wanted to save time by just adding your negative keywords to just one place instead of individually in every single campaign, it's going to be useful, especially in the situation <clears throat> that I described before where you know that there's going to be terms that are always going to be irrelevant. So you can have a list of terms that you know no matter what. Even if you want to refine each campaign, you have this base level list that's going to be applied for everything. So let's actually take a look at how this works. So let's go into AdWords Editor, for example, and let's say I wanted to add negative keywords here. You know, in this example, I have a couple campaigns. I would have to go to keywords, and then I would have to go to keywords negative. I would click add a new campaign level negative keyword, and I would say hydration powder. And then that's just been added to one campaign. If I wanted to add that to others, I can go like this, drop it in there. And of course, I can speed this up dramatically by sort of highlighting every single campaign. adding a campaign level neg negative keyword and just sort of go like this. So you can see here, obviously, if I was using Excel, we could speed this up quite a bit. So let's actually see what that looks like. So let's say I had this term and I knew that I wanted to add weather as a negative keyword to every single one of my campaigns. Well, essentially what I would do is I would go make multiple changes and then I would say you selected destinations and I would sort of pick where I wanted to add these things. I would then go ahead and paste it from here. I would select that this is the keyword and this is the match type or as it's called in AdWords Editor, the criterion type and I would hit process and then boom it would be added to every single one of my campaigns. Campaign level negative keyword weather. So this is one way to quickly add negative keywords and as you can see it doesn't take that long. In fact if I wanted to add all of these all at once I can do that quite simply, make multiple changes, use these selected areas, go ahead and paste it from keyboard, keyword and criterion type, and then drop those in. And I've just added a whole bunch of negative keywords. So you can see how quick this can be uh, inside your AdWords Editor account. But let's say I wanted to add a negative keyword list. What I would do is go to AdWords and go to Campaigns. On the left column, you'll see something Shared Library. Go ahead and click that and go to Campaign Negative Keywords. What I would then do is sort of add a list. And I would maybe call it Terms to Always Add as a Negative. And then I would drop my terms in there just like so. And you'll notice here the syntax. Uh, it actually has the negative up front and then it has quotation marks because I want these to be added as a negative phrase. Uh, this is actually quite easy to do if you know how to do it. So let's say you had a list of terms that didn't have the uh, didn't have everything that you wanted. There's a lot of different ways to do it. Uh, one of them is to just sort of build it out using Excel. So if I knew that I had that and I would kind of go 
like this and I would repeat this process so on and so forth until I had a list that looked just like that I could then take my negative keywords and I can go inside AdWords and just sort of drop this in and then every time I want to apply to a campaign I just simply click apply to campaign and I select that now these terms have been applied if I update this list it will go ahead and be applied there if I had this applied to multiple campaigns well then every time I update it right here it would update every single campaign so what is truly faster what gives you more control what gives you more control is definitely going with the AdWords editor manual route because uh, you will see everything that you drop in uh, whereas this you are adding it to one spot and then it's applying out to all different campaigns so both have pros and cons uh, what you ultimately end up doing is going to be your choice but the point is to be aware that negative keyword lists do exist and that you can use them and save some time but you should also be aware of how to use negative uh, the negative keyword section in AdWords editor